Hello, I'm Al Koyawaima, a Hopi artist potter. In the previous video, part one, I demonstrated the attachment of a clay coil to a base. That base will be used in this video to construct a two tower architectural piece, which I will show you now. I've used a series of coils to build this closed cone or capsule shaped pot attaching the coils as I did in the first video. In this photo sequence, I've already pushed in the side of the pot to form a concave area where I will place the architectural features. The first step in forming the structural features is to create the horizontal platform on which I place the kivas, towers, buildings, and walls that can be seen in the ancient ruins in the southwest. I've pushed the platform out from inside the pot. Then I sculpt and smooth surfaces with various wooden tools. I do the same with the towers. I am mindful of maintaining the shape of the concave area since the wet clay wants to move around while I'm sculpting. I will go over an area several times to get the shapes that I wish. In the previous still photos, I showed forming the shape of this pot by coils. Then I shaped this alcove with a wooden tool, pushed it in, sort of like a, a volleyball that lost some of its air. I was able to push that in. Then I used a technique called represe to push out these towers and these kiva areas here. The represe is a term that means to push out and not to add more clay. I did add more clay when it came to these walls here and the top, the parapets on the top of this tower. Then I went about forming all the stonework that's in here. And uh, this was done while it was still damp and I used a wooden tool to form each one of these uh, little impressions of a stone. This has been cleaned up somewhat and now the pot has come to a dry stage but needs to be completely finished now and that involves completely sanding and uh, using whatever tools necessary to completely clean this piece up uh, to add a base coast slip and then a color slip with different colors for the towers. From that stage, uh, I need to let it dry and uh, then go back to putting the final slip on for polishing. And I will polish the piece with a, a stone. It's an old technique been used for thousands of years, uh, and then uh, we'll have a finished piece with uh, some ladders in here, and you'll get to see that. 